Right folks, it's um, the 21st of September 2022 and I'm back here at Draycott Village. I've just got off the 1-2 bus, 126 bus. It was packed. I think everyone's making a demonstration that this bus is needed. The whole double decker was packed with people going to Wells. Anyway, I'm just making my way up this big hill. This is the biggest hill of the walk today. And uh, I don't often video going uphill, but I'm just going to do a little bit of it. I've, had, I've used inhalers today in advance, the brown and the blue ones. Last time I walked up here, I was struggling with real bad shortness of breath. It did ease up though, it did go. After this hill, it did go. So this is Sheila. The Queen is now buried at Windsor. St George's Chapel. I think there's a chapel where her parents are, her sister and her husband. She's joined the Duke of Edinburgh now, Prince Philip. They're buried together. It's unbelievable really. It's not even two weeks past and she's in the ground. A massive ceremony that went on for days in her memory. Yes. We never got a king. We've also got Russia playing up. He's recruiting, um, he's called up all ex-trained service people. Putin has. I think he's getting ready for a big push. It's not looking very good. It's funny, he did send condolences for the Queen now. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen. I just think if they're starting to cut the buses, is there a reason other than money? Are they expecting us to have a massive war again? And they're isolating us all already. I don't know. That's just a theory. They do, these things are well planned in advance. Oh, I never spotted those before. Look at that little family of stone ducks. Never spotted them before, hello. And a little baby one. Look, are they sweet? Probably been put over here while they're sorting that out. I think so. I think that's what they're doing. That's a really lovely location, that bungalow there. Re commanding views over the levels. <sighs> Little Charm, maybe it's called. It always usually has lots of pretty flowers. <sighs> anyway, let's just carry on. Basically, I'm heading for Pretty Barrows <coughs> and the Mineries, and then back to Wells to get the bus. That's plan A. Now, because there's lots of cows about, and I don't normally do this walk like this to get to the pretty. Well, I do, but I normally go across the fields. Because it's the season of the cow. And because some of those fields are where I was once chased, I'll have to be going on roads like this to take me to pretty. All right, over and out, over and out. Oops. Something the lungs are getting cleared out, a bit of coughing. We'll look over there. Look over on the coast. Look at the smog. There's a motorway down there. There's lots of roads. There's pollution coming from Wells, Bristol. 
It's a low, old layer of smog which I'm just getting out of. Anyway, what's happening now, a year ago, there were little pigs running around in these fields. Dear little souls. <coughs> anyway, instead of going straight up there, which I would do if I was going to do the fields, because like I said, it's season of the cow, um, I've got to do the road instead. I don't mind. There will be a little bit of hill like this. As I go up that hill coming from Draycott, there's a batch of road and I'll have to carry on up, then it'll be flat. <clears throat> Once I get near the um, Glider Flying Club, <coughs> I've got to pass that, it would be a sort of flatter. But up until then, I'm still going to be going up. I'm just going to take my time, do it in stages. I just met two people, a couple about my age probably. <coughs> and they are working on the slights today, doing some weeding and repair work on the slights. They had light packs, they passed me really briskly. They just had shorts and t-shirt on and a very light pack with their luncheon. Not like me. Mine's got camera equipment in. My pat lunch. Three bottles of water. They might only be up here a couple hours. I'm out all day. In fact, I'm one bottle down, really. There's a lovely avenue of trees that I pass sometimes. I went close to them and then I went up last week. But I didn't, this is where I'm turning, not going up where the cows were. I'm turning off here to get onto the road. I've got to climb. You can hear cars. I have to be vigilant because uh, cars do tend to go fast in country lanes for some reason. They don't expect to see a walker in its pet. But here's a lovely view looking over to the spine of the Mendip Hills leading to Crook's Peak which is in the mist in the smog Glastonbury will be over there somewhere we'll see that later and I'm going down to a gate here then I'll be carrying on up the hill past the stile that I crossed the other day right I'm just going to take a stop now and take a picture of this scene Right folks, I've climbed up that big Draycott road, or lane, whatever you want to call it, and I'm up here and it's absolutely gorgeous up here. <coughs> I've been coughing a lot, getting up all the muck, the product of pollution, definitely, product of pollution and pollutants. Coming up, this hill walking is good for you because I tell you what, it agitates all the muck in your lungs. Otherwise it just sits there and festers. You need to get it up. I always say, keep the rib cage moving. Now it looks to me like there aren't any cows in the field I could have walked through. But there again, there again, I wouldn't have had this opportunity to walk from, from um, see the hangars and some of the, um, the planes here. Looks like somebody's preparing a plane now, but I don't think there's much wind today. I'm pointing there, but I can't see anything. I won't see nothing till later. No, I won't see nothing till later. It's all a blur. Although, if I had my glasses on, it probably wouldn't be too bad. Mendip gliding. There's a water pan there for animals. So you do get cattle on here. There's the flag over there. The smog down there. So I've done the hill. Now I'm making my way to Pretty. 
I'll be walking past the gliding club. Then I'll be once I get up there, I'll be down here to, to the village. So I've done the the biggest hill of the whole walk has been done to now. I always think it's best to do it at the start of the walk, really. It stirs your lungs up, gets them going, and you've got more energy at the start of the walk. Right, I'm going to turn off a minute. But looking in this field, which I would normally go through, looks very cow free to me leading up to the cops. Very cow free. In fact, they might not have any cows at all. And I could have walked across six fields without any fear. But like I said, this is a different experience doing this, so in a way I don't mind. If I do find out there ain't no cows, another I can come back another day and get off at Westbury Sub Mendip and walk back before they take the bus off. Beautiful here, now, isn't it? Look at it. I'm making the most of this, you know, because very soon <coughs> it'll be denied me. Well, I'm going to take some photos in a minute. In a minute, let's just wait for that. These cars to go by. There's a glider. That might not be a glider. That could be the plane that drags the glider. There's a plane that they use to pull the glider up. I reckon that's the plane. So over and out in a minute while I take a picture. A bit more. There's uh, the one. I, th I don't know if they're both gliders. They could both be gliders, those ones, actually. Somebody maintaining them. Or they could be, they've got propellers. They could be the planes that take the gliders up. Yeah, they could be the planes that take the gliders up. They're taking petrol to them. Yeah, they're the planes, I think they've got propellers and looks like he's taking his hat and petrol with him. So I don't know if there's somebody ready to go in to glide, I don't know. If we were, if we had time we could stay here and watch him take off but we haven't got time. That drove, at the end of there, it might not be a drove but there is a gate but that could lead to another walk. There's always walks. So anyway, we're on this. Ch Normally I walk in a field there and not a cow in sight, look. Not a cow in sight. <coughs> but you can bet your life, if I get in a field in a minute, the, the further over there will be bloody cows, I bet you. But it'd be better if I could do the field because in a minute I've got to go on a more dangerous road. The road that comes up from Cheddar is a faster road, but it isn't actually far to pretty. <coughs> Each time I get higher up, the healthier I feel. Right folks, just a short video. Look at the size of this herd. It's got to be 100 cows there, or 50. Between 50 and 100, I'd say, or, or maybe 40. I mean, you can't really tell that count anymore. <laughs> it's quite a busy road, this, though, isn't it? And uh, three cows on the other side a minute ago were following me. Now, a few years ago, when I got lost in the mist, I ended up over on this humpy bumpy ground. A bit, just a little bit further down, there was a gap, the only gap that I could get through. Right, hold on. Let's just... The only gap 
I could get through uh, yeah I ended up round about this humpy bumpy bit I got lost I take it was thick mist and even though I thought I knew that route I obviously didn't right, over and out for a minute folks 